He ain't telling you shit. I'm back with another drunk reaction. Mm. Mm. I'm trying something new today. It's uh, Evan Williams Honey. And, you know, what I do is I take, you know, I get little bottles of this shit when I've never had it before because you don't want to spend, like, you know, whatever amount of money it'd be to buy a whole bottle of something. Take one sip and then find out you hate it. Like Tennessee Apple, which sucked ass. Yeah, you know, I'm still bitter. There was, it was only 99 cents a bottle for, I guess, like 10 bottles, but I'm still bitter. Uh, anyway, I only bought two little tiny bottles of this just to see if I liked it. I don't know. There's not much flavor. I'm really, I mean, if I was like put on a um, truth detector or lie detector, I guess it's called. Jesus, I'm drunk. Anyway, if I was put on a lie detector, it's more about the flavor for me than it is getting drunk. I mean, look at the size of me. Come on. Yeah. What's up? You know, like that, that's obvious. And this really doesn't have much flavor, which is disappointing. Anyway, about to watch episode three of Westworld. Can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Looks like they're going with the cold open every episode this season. That's interesting. This is fucking cool, man. Bring yourself back online. About to find out who she is. I think it's going to be Angela. Is that that character's name, Angela? Who am I? Who do you think you are? Oh, shit. They're going to tease us out. I don't remember. Well, fucking tell us. You can speak it into existence, man. What's happening? Charlotte Hale. So it's somebody who knew about Charlotte Hale. Knew her. I don't know if Angela ever knew her. You only have a little time. You have to leave before you're missed. Man, that's all the orientation she gets? I mean, you get like a... I understand TV like we ain't got a whole lot of time. But, like, literally, they're playing it out like you get a two-minute conversation, you got to go out there and be, you got to go out there and be Charlotte, you know? Like, go. Go out there and be Charlotte right now. Like, you just realized through the mirror who you were, like, five seconds ago. But, hey, just go be here. It's all good. I'm sure there was, like, um, programming inside of her for that, but still. I just saw the tagline for this episode. If you don't like what you see in the mirror, don't blame the mirror. I really like that. I really like this too. This is cool. Riot control. I guess I would control a fucking riot. Jesus. Charlotte. Charlotte. You okay? She's barely keeping it together, boy. You ever notice that the the future has a lot of open water? Damn, she can't be in an ambulance, dude. Hey, Dolores, bring yourself back online. Whatever they want, you go oh shit! And they will kill you. That app, man. That app is damn useful. I love that he thought to check that out. Hey, Dolores, fucking do something! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wait a minute, why am I rooting against the fucking humans? Jesus. Yeah, Caleb ain't really about that murder tip, by the way. Just so you know, Dolores. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is going on, boy? <laughs> That's methodical, man. You're a good man, Caleb. Unless you know nothing better. Oh man. Obviously they're gonna get back together, but oh man. There's nothing back online or anywhere. Every single record, every database. His presence has been scrubbed. He's like Finch from uh so first of interest. Cold, which I will continue to reference because that's this this shows a spiritual success. This shit is seventy proof. This should be hitting harder. Yeah, you know, sex is cool, but have you ever led a robot revolution? When you forgot to pick up our son. Jesus. Again. You can cut me out. Is this that dude from the following? Like the last season of the following? But you don't get to do that to Nathan. 
There was a Nathan impressive interest too. Just, just say. <laughs> Kids always know, man. Kids see through the bullshit. I'm just saying, like yeah. We know when the parents are getting a divorce. We know when mommy's been replaced by a killer robot, you know, we pick up on that shit. Well, we mean, you know, like, when we were kids. I'm not saying I'm a kid. I mean, how can you sleep with that bright-ass fucking light in his face? Damn, you're a bitch. <laughs> Guilt is fucking with her, boy. We'll have any of our assets unaccounted for. The whole, like, you know, PTSD and trauma and shit is good cover for anything that's not right about her. I'm here. She needed this boy. She is coming apart at the seams. I feel like I'm changing. She's becoming the mask. You know what's interesting is... Dolores was able to perpetrate Charlotte Hill for days. Now, I know this has probably been longer, but still, she had no issues with it. Oh, the man in black, William. Dolores is like a handler working an asset in like a spy situation, you know? Sometimes you gotta hold their hand, kiss their ass, prop up their courage. Oh, shit. They're on his ass. Apparently, Rico is like very uh, secure. Like they can't even track you if you're using it. I want my son back. They're fucking with this. I don't believe he's a host. They want us to think he's a host. But if he was a host, Dolores would have had him riding with her. Like, if if Dolores doesn't know about him, then there's a whole nother set of hosts. I just don't believe that. Like, so logically, it just doesn't make sense. I see you trying to Westworld. Caleb Nichols. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Well, I switched back to Fireball, which is my usual drink. Uh, I, won't, I won't get any more of that honey drink. It was okay. A little bit of variety, but... Yeah, Fireball is what's happening. He ain't telling you shit. Hello. Hello. Just him, bitch. Dolores is tired of these high-maintenance bitches. He ain't telling you shit. You're a vet, right, man? Goddamn right, he's a vet. Yeah, fuck you. His coworker's about to kick some human ass. Girly sure sounds like trouble. Girly? Who the fuck says girly? Dolores. Well, this is a meat cute. <laughs> Nice little public domain song. Gotta love those public domain songs. I mean, I can sing that shit right now, you know? I'm not going to. Yeah, what's up, motherfucker? <laughs> She's like Dexter. Get a kill under her belt and she feels better for a while. Who the fuck is she? I can't pin it down. It's somebody who knew Charlotte. I don't think it's Tommy, and I don't think it's Angela. I think Angela's in the Scottish dude or Irish or whatever the fuck he is. He'll take a cheeseburger and a strawberry shake with cream. No nuts, two cherries. No. Dolores likes to take control. <laughs> Caleb's like, what? Come here once a year. I'm so upset that I threw up all over myself. Oh shit. Yeah, they showed that earlier, actually, yeah. You're angry. No. I am enraged. <laughs> God, he's such a fantastic actor. This is an he's an incredible actor. Every aspect of your lives. Recorded, logged. To She's gonna bring this shit down. This She's gonna break the wheel. Why? What about you? What are you gonna do? 
Start a revolution. No offense, but what the fuck does that mean? Ask for details. At least this way. I get to decide who I want to be. Dolores loves that shit. <laughs> she loves this whole personal choice shit. When did she get her to drop the dime on herself? Pull back the curtain and reveal her robotness. Because that's the scene I'm dying to see. Every time they show this message, they reveal more of what she said. This is how she's going to do it. By the way, I don't feel bad for the real human being, Charlotte. She was a cold-blooded bitch and she shot Ella? Elsie? She shot Elsie. Yeah, she shot Elsie so she can rot in hell. Fuck her. Public domain song. How much I love you. I love public domain songs very much because we don't have to pay for them. Hello? Hello? Charlotte was a mole. Charlotte was a fucking mole. Holy shit. Man, Charlotte really was a scandalous cunt. You know that? She really was. Jesus. She was cutthroat. She was a cutthroat bitch for Delos, and then she was also betraying Delos at the same goddamn time, man. Jesus. What a bitch. Patience is the most overrated virtue to think. So you bitch about her, like, not reaching out in a long time, but then you also talk about patience. Wait a minute, no, I, I misread what he said. He said patience is over it. Never mind, I'm sorry, I'm drunk. This is why she was in such a... She had such a heart on for getting those assets out last season. That shit makes sense, man. That's why he wants her so bad. Tons of luxury, Which well, then invent a time machine, motherfucker. Since you got all this magical technology and shit. God damn, this hour passes too fucking fast. Fuck, man. Oh, uh, they still got me paranoid, so. I'm still waiting to see, like, if there's any after Christmas. And I know there won't be. But, you know, hey. They didn't catch me. Like, they didn't catch me holding again. I'll say that much. Yeah, that was uh, Michael Early, by the way. I thought that was him. It's like, but he didn't have the facial hair in uh, the following. And he's a wonderful actor. He was so good. It was the last season of the following. It was a really shitty season. He was the only good thing about that season. Because, man, that dude's phenomenal. Hopefully, they give him more to do than just, like, be the dad. There were a couple scenes here and there and shit. Love that dude. But yeah, this was a much more exciting uh, episode than last week's episode. This felt like a lot more was happening, a lot more being revealed. We're about 40% through the season already, which is depressing. You know, shit just comes too fast. Yeah, we're looking at no more, uh, there's no after credit scene. So I'll see you guys next week.